Charles Morgan. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. And you've got four new cars here at Geneva. Yes. Tell us all about the company and the cars as well. Well, I like to say that it's a bit like the three-wheeler. We've got three wheels on the stand, uh, and, and each wheel represents a different strength of the company, I think. Um, we've got the Aero, uh, and the latest version, of course, is the Aero Coupe. And uh, that is the fruit of a collaboration with BMW. So, if you like, it's all the latest technology, yes. but in a very Morgan-esque package. And the body is obviously shaped by Matthew Humphreys, our chief stylist. Yes. And many people would say that it's, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a lovely thing. But it's also, of course, our own chassis and a, a much lighter car than a BMW, because it's made of aluminium, the chassis sure. and the body. So, in a sense, you know, the technology is given its in its head, if you like, because it's allowed to perform in a much lighter platform. Then we've got the three-wheeler. Um, that's the second wheel, if you like. And uh, the three-wheeler's been a bit of a sensation. I don't know whether you saw Top Gear last Sunday, but the fact is that... Driven one a, loved it. Whether it's at Goodwood, uh, you know, whether it's... Well, wherever it is in the world, to be honest. And, of course, it was part of the Top Gear live show. The thing it's, is, it's, it's fun, isn't it? Well, what's, what it's also done, to be honest, is it's completely transformed the following of Morgan. Morgan. Uh, and when I say that, what I mean by that is that we analysed our, um, our website uh, traffic the other day, and including sort of Facebook and Twitter, and we realised that 60% of the people following Morgan now are under the age of 34. Now, if you think about it, that's not what you'd expect. Not at all. And of course, they can't afford a Morgan at the moment, because even the three-wheeler is £25,000 plus back. Sure. So it's an expensive item. But the fact is, they are our future owners, and I'm so pleased that it's a bigger group than the actual owners themselves. And the third wheel, if you like, is the classic Morgan. Sure. Now, why do I call that the third wheel? Well, because I think the classic shape of the Morgan, to be honest, is, is a design classic. I mean, it may not quite be up there with the, the Eames chair or you know things like that. People still know is, what it is, don't pe they? People love that shape. And of course, it's so distinctive, the shape, that what we've been able to do is register it as a trademark. Now, you won't find that on any other stand in Geneva, I don't think. No. Everybody can register their grill, mm -hmm. but well, you know, take away the grill of most cars, and to be honest, you'd be very hard pushed to know which They're quite amorphic, car it aren't was. They? And of course, what the trademark office is, they want distinctiveness, Yes. and the Morgan is distinctive. So, to be honest, that shape, and it's, it's if you like, it's pulled over the engineering, so it's, it's the minimalist car, sure. but it's still very attractive, particularly to young people. And so I think there's always going to be room for that classic Morgan car. Now, of course, it has to be relevant. Sure. Because nobody wants to own an old thing that, you know, doesn't work. Um, and that goes for antiques and everything. So what we have to do with the Morgan is, if you like, um, keep the style of, of the old, but make sure it's completely safe, completely relevant. And of course, the latest Plus 8 has got ABS. It's yes. got an automatic gearbox if you want. So. You know, to an extent, that's exactly what it is. Somebody called it the other day, I think it was um, Chris Harris of Pistonhead. He said it's a modern AC Cobra. Absolutely. Well, I couldn't have said it better myself. I think that's a good analogy. The other thing I've noticed, uh, speaking to Matt earlier on, you've got the electric uh, yes. version here as well. Plans for the future, because the electric idea, to me, it, it's completely out of this world. I could never imagine to even think about a Morgan with an electric motor. What other plans have you got? Well, I, I think that's wrong, you see, because every car company in the world is doing an electric car, and every journalist like yourself is talking about electric cars. Sure. Now, what's quite interesting is nobody's buying them, and the biggest punt of all, of course, is Renault, who sure. are going to be 60% electric, I think, Absolutely, next massive year. shift. Um, now, if nobody's buying them, <laughs> <laughs> even with a £5,000 um, grant from the government, yes. you know, it's a small market, isn't it? Sure. And let's be honest, though, I mean, if... If cities go zero emission, which obviously Paris probably will to support yes, Renault, almost, almost certainly. <laughs> then how much more stylish to go in in a Morgan? I can't, I can't disagree with that. I, one. I think the Morgan, you know, on a summer's evening, with perhaps not the side screens on, mm. but the roof up, that would be a very, very nice way of going around uh, Paris. It's a cracking image. That's one that will stay with me for a while. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thanks.